The summer 2020 protests over policing ushered in an era of intense scrutiny on police department budgets. There are still calls to defund SPD and invest millions more in community crime prevention programs. The Seattle City Council finds itself trying to balance those pressures with the reality that officers are leaving the department amid a surge in gun violence. The council met on Monday to consider its mid-year budget and make funding decisions potentially impacting SPD. We are in the middle of an SPD staffing crisis now. Council member Alex Peterson tried to introduce amendments committing funds toward hiring and retaining officers. He says more than 300 officers and detectives have left SPD in the past year and a half. We can take this swifter action this week to reduce the amount of time Seattle residents wait for an officer after calling 911. The amendments failed after fierce opposition from several community members who want steep cuts to policing. The funding package the council passed essentially allows SPD to keep spending within its previously approved budget, so no major changes. SPD will have funding for community service officers and crime prevention coordinators, as well as staff to help speed up hiring. Non-police funding includes dollars for community organizations working to reduce crime. In a statement, SPD thanked the city council for its vote tonight and said it will continue working to attract and retain officers. This conversation is not ending tonight because later this month, conversations about next year's budget will start to ramp up. Live in downtown Seattle, Ted Land, King 5 News.